What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Welcome to St. Augustine. My good buddy Ian. Tug Trash on YouTube right here. Check him out. If you haven't watched him, check him out. He's got an awesome channel just like mine, except for he does even more shrimping and crabbing style videos than I ever thought of because he lives here in the shrimping crabbing mecca of St. Augustine. If you haven't been following along with my channel or this is the first video you've watched of mine, go back and watch some of my most recent videos because I'm starting to film in sort of a series style, meaning film from day to day to day to day. And my videos will make way more sense if you watch them in order. Right here, right here, right here. Get him. Right here? Yeah, get him. You got that one. You got that one. There you go, Crystal. We just got done filming a shrimping video, so if you haven't watched that, go watch it and come back here and watch this one. Right now, we're getting ready to pull some blue crab traps that Ian himself set a couple days ago because I told him it's opening weekend of deer season and I need some crabs for deer camp. He hooked me up like he always does. Where are they at, Cap? Mine are the, the white round buoys, so we'll just go start pulling them. Let's get to it. Do your crab dance. You'll be doing the dance the second when they're all scurrying around inside the boat and I forgot my tongs. Not the tongs. Ian, you can't forget the tongs. I mean. You forgot your crab tongs. Well, it's funny now until one of us is shaking one off their finger. <laughs> I'm the cameraman. <laughs> hey, what did he say on the on that movie Blood Diamond? I am the cameraman. That's what I am today the cameraman. So if you don't know much about crabbing in the state of Florida, you have commercial crabbers and then you also have recreational crabbers. Right there I can tell that's a commercial crabber because he's got his license number on the top. Right up here is one of Ian's who's a recreational crabber and all he has to do is have an R on the buoy and then he has to have his name and his address on the trap. You're alive five traps per person, no more, but you can have less. Come on beach. I that's get to pull right it? There. Yeah, right here this is us. Just pull it straight up. Straight up. I don't need to jerk it like this. No. Nope. You guys, my last video, we teach Crystal Beachy how to throw a cast net. Oh, yeah! Some of it's pretty funny. Some of it's pretty Get skillful. It? Yep. We thought you were about I to go in. <laughs> but will we have crabs? Drum roll, please. Come on, crabs. Oh, we got a crab. There should be about 10 in there though. Oh no, we got Look how big that one, one is. Giant... No, Look we got two big ones. How big that crab is. Come on. We got two big ones. Ian said, "Come on. Here, pull this off right here." Oh, that is a that jumbo. Smells wrong. Well, oh. Blue Gabe was coming to town. When he's coming to town, you stuff the bait box full. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, here. Uh, this is where you need tongs. Th these ones you just do this. And then usually I would shake the bait out first, but we're going to set these back anyways. There's two jumbos in there. Big one. That one right there is eight inches across his back. Come on, buddy. Dude, this boat is going to smell wretched. <laughs> we're going to smell wretched. Huh? Come on, dude. There he goes. That's Man. a monster right there. Dude, they're fighting. Get him. Oh, oh. Ian, you're, you're fighting with the devil in there. That's a big one. Look at that thing. Oh, he's crushing little that ones. little one. Yeah, let it's... me train sides with you because of the sun. Crabs are hard on each other, but I, I guarantee, and that's not even the big one, that thing's probably seven and a half inches across the back right there. And he's a Jimmy, a male. And look, he's nice and oh. nice and rusty. That crab is going to be full of delicious meat. He's going to be full of my pot when I get to eating him. Got to let that little dude go, bro. That's another little male. Yeah, we'll, what we'll do is when we when we ice them all down and they they calm down that's when it, you go through and call everything out ah! sorry. sorry what are you screaming about Dang, they're aggressive you gotta get them by. use your kentucky tongs dang. <laughs> dang get them by that back back right there and you're safe anywhere else you're getting a pincher like that one that they that'll that'll, that'll go back it. you know yeah, he's uh, too small. Let him go. I let like him go. Let him grow. A rule of thumb is about five inches across the back. State of Florida does not have regulations. You can keep males. You can keep females. So it's up to your discretion on what you want to do. You guys, that's a jumbo. It's that's like a baby and that's a jumbo. The climbing monkeys. All right, that's just that trap number one. Wretched. That's number one. 
we got nine more to go. That's I'm a little disappointed good. in those numbers. I was, I like to average about 10 a trap. That one was what, six? That bait about made me vomit. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. And I don't have very sensitive stomach, but that's some you ratchet. Want me to pitch this when we get there? Um, we hardly drifted, really. Flip it over, babe, so I can show them where to put the bait. Oh, Lee, it's bad. And if you notice what kind of bait I got in there? Shrimp. Shrimp heads. Shrimp heads. Oh. You gotta match the hatch. Re so right here is where you stuff the bait. That is the bait. That's what's got us oh, gagging. Lee. Now, is this the bottom of the trap? It's the bottom yeah. of the trap. And that's He's why got we put that rebar on there. Yeah, he has the metal on here, so when the trap goes, it stays like that. Because there is current here where we're at in Central Florida. You do want a little current. Crystal, you could drop that right here. Does this need to be down? Yes, yeah. please. You know what we didn't bring? Was a bucket to wash the boat off. Yeah, I got a bucket in my truck. I actually got a spray thing, too. I think it works. All my stuff works at about 75% capacity. That's better than mine. Yeah. You know how it is. You, you're one of the few people that... If you do all that stuff, you got all them boats, it never ends. Every time never, you get into something- Ever ends. It's broken. There's always something to clean too. Yeah. So if you take a lot of the YouTubers, I'm not calling anybody out by any means, but a lot of YouTubers go on charter boats and they fish off the bank. They don't have a fleet of boats. I do take pride and I have worked my booty off. I have a 31 contender, a 24 foot blackjack, a 18 foot pro drive and we got the ss beachy which is a 14 foot john boat that is one two three four five motors right am i counting right three four five yeah. five that's five outboard motors that i got to keep running five fuel tanks i got to keep clean i don't even know how many batteries amongst all those that you got to keep running it is an absolute chore and something is always broken you just can't help it smell my hand no way you're riding in the back of the truck on the way home is this salt water or fresh water? It's fresh water. Um, it has a small amount of salt in it. So we have blue crabs out here, but it's generally considered fresh water. Did you just notice Crystal laid down in all that slime that just come out of that last trap? She laid on her belly to get that, that buoy and she just laid in that funk. You had to ride back all the way home. On the You're riding with Buck in the back. <laughs> My poor Kurt thumb is hurting. Oh, this morning we were cleaning her buck that she killed the other day, and you know the click, 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 click winch. Well, it wasn't clicking. I see at least one in there. Go ahead. She let go of that winch handle, and it swung around and hit her right on her thumb. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gosh, I'm so fast. These traps. These are a much better trap than my other old ones. I just got these ones, oh. so they got a whole door like that. Nice. You know, I have 15 brand new traps. I ain't never even used them. No? Robert's used them a couple times, but I haven't used them. Not one time. I love it coming out here. It's close to my house. I can drop my traps and, you know, I, it's nothing to come out and get a half a bushel of crabs. Yeah, so Ian is a tugboat captain. He takes a tugboat from Jacksonville, Florida, all the way down the coast in between the Bahamas and the Keys and all the way to Cuba. And then turns around and comes all the way back. He works 30 days on and 30 days off. Ow, oh, man. Oh, that was a big one too. See, they can reach back I'm behind them. I'm trying to get them. pinched for the camera right now. Not bad. That's already, a, I mean, believe it or not, that's a dinner for two of us. Maybe not a huge dinner, but put a steak on the grill with those four or five good keeper crabs. We got a meal. I'm saying eight. Come on, baby. Oh, boy. We got three. Dang it. One, two, three. Four. Four, but actually, to me, ain't none of them keepers. They're all shorts. Uh-oh. More shorts. Man, we're on the Four. small ones. He puts a weight right here on the rope. So when there's no current, that rope will still stay straight down so a boat motor don't come by and catch it. There's one big one. Monster. Nice one. And look how rusty he is. Tell him about that rust. I don't know about the rust. What is it? So the rust, um, that means that this crab has been living in this shell for a long time. You, you know how full of meat. Yeah, and they, they molt. So if you get one that's real white and almost see-through, he won't be full of meat. That guy right there, he'll be heavy and full of meat. I was gonna let him oh. see him on the deck. Okay. Wait. <laughs> 
Uh-oh. He is so feisty. Uh-oh. This is what we, we come out here for. A nice select or jumbo, rusty male Jimmy Crab. And he's, he's, you can feel that he's heavy. He'll be full of meat. Ooh, and he's gonna get me. Here, you want How him? do you know he doesn't go by Frank or Tom or something? I, you know, now these days, who knows? <laughs> he might go, who he knows might what go, he goes by? He might go from. Don't assume, don't assume his name. <laughs> yeah, or his. Or his gender. Or you know, his gender. <laughs> I mean, that's probably seven and a half. That's, Look at how pointy that is. That's the, when you go to a crab shop, this, these are the crabs you will pay the most money for. Mm -hmm. Got him? Come on, Gabriel. That's actually a really good thumbnail like that. What do you think? What's your prediction before you I see it? I think this has a bunch in it. How much deeper are we? About five, six foot deeper. That's I can deep. already see a good amount. There's a bunch of crabs, they're just little. We got the numbers, but not the size. Yeah, there's two, oh. four, six, Eight. They're all right about the same size. Thank God they sell lump crab meat in the grocery store. <laughs> There's you know, enough for me. You if know, you guys think for a second that I'm being rude to Ian, you've never met me and Ian before. This is just how men do it. Like we jack with each other, we goof off with each other, and there are no feelings. We just have a good time. I have struck out with so many things so many different times. Now we're just used to it. If you don't catch them, you don't catch them. We got a couple in there for dinner. If we don't catch another one, I'm just as happy as if we would have filled that basket. You can rest assured of that. Now those three, those three will keep. Yeah. We'll keep them. They're big enough. Do we I don't know. That one's still a little bit These small. Two right yeah, here those are two are right definitely there. keepers. Let's keep them. All right, let me figure out how to do this. Down here on this side. Okay, I see. So the wind's coming this way. We don't want to put it on this side because the boat will go right over it. All right, I got two more traps for redemption. You think they'll have them? I hope so. The funny thing is, when we came out today, I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them on the crabs, no problem. I was a little bit worried about the shrimp, but the shrimp weren't a problem and the crabs are somewhere else. I think it has more to do with the wind or something right now than anything because they're all small. I mean, they're all just pretty much cookie cutters. That one right there is good. Yeah. We we'll eat him. These are all males mostly. In the bucket. So in one of my most recent videos, we were in Georgia with my kids and my parents and I wanted to make some crab cakes that I make. They're not a true crab cake. They're like more like a crab fritter. And I bought some of the lump crab meat in a can. Well, when I was filming the last video, I didn't really have anything to cook. So I'm like, I had one more can of crab. I said, let's cook a crab omelet for breakfast. And it was so good. If you want to learn how to cook that, go back to my last video and watch it, you'll see. It's super easy, super cheap, and it's so good. Crystals, is it your uncle or who's the crabber in your family? Yeah, it's my uncle. She has a uncle in Delaware that's a commercial crabber, and we're gonna go with him here soon. They use chicken necks on oh, the that's, Look at that crab! That's a big one! Oh, a Lord. big old okay, big one! Dang! Y'all got a hell of a dinner. <laughs> They're definitely rusty too. Now this goes to show you, Ian just said, I don't know why this trap is way over here by itself. That's a jumbo. Holy moly. Got him? Ah. <laughs> Look at, don't break your claw off. Ow, he's got little spikes on there. Look at that bad boy. Huge. Don't go in there and bite everybody. We got one more? That's it. That's hold it. The, That's it, uh, folks. Hold the basket up for me. We, 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 pulled go, off, we go run them again <laughs> if you want. <laughs> we pulled off enough crabs to have an amazing meal. 
Now we don't really have enough to take to hunting camp because there's gonna be a bunch of people here this weekend, but tomorrow night me and the kids are gonna mow down on those. Unfortunately, Ian won't be there because you'll be doing something else fun. I'm gonna be in South Carolina trying to get me a big old velvet buck. Oh. You guys, I'm hoping there's one holding on to his velvet. Oh. Yeah, Ian is a hunting and fishing fool, but he works 30 days on, then he's off for 30 days. So you can believe the 30 days he's off, he's officially doing something. Every day. If I'm not fishing, <laughs> I'm hunting. You shrimped yesterday, then shrimped last night till one. Yeah, and what else have we been doing? I've been up to South Carolina one time, and we went the other day and caught some big old bull reds underneath the bridge in the St. Augustine Inlet. Nice. Well, mm. next week you got to come down and do a gator hunt with us. I'll be there. You don't got to say it twice. We need to bring a little cooker and cook it on the boat. Clean a gator right there. No ice, no nothing. Just hack a piece of meat off of him and cook it on the boat. I mean, we little can eat grill. gator sushi. You can eat gator sushi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we'll see you back at the house. We got things to do and crabs to put in the pot. Eight inch blue crab. Luke, have you ever seen one so big? Uh-uh. Do you think he'd hurt if he bit you? It would hurt worse than a king crab. It probably would. Look at Dad, he's over there working hard, him and Redneck. Mom and Dad came over, they brought some fresh mango and some fresh watermelon they planted in their garden. So we already got some peel and eat shrimp ready. If you watched my last video, you saw us catch those shrimp. Now we're gonna cook these crabs. Come on, look. I put them in the cooler so they didn't come out swinging like they were when we caught them. Get you one, Luke. Pick them crabs up and put them in the pot. In here, I've got a little bit of water and a little bit of vinegar, just giving them a good steam. He can't bite you, Luke. He's freezing cold. These crabs give me the freaks because these ones will bite the heck out of you that one won't he's super cold drop him in there jake we're gonna cook them for about five minutes just because they are so cold what if they were shrimp are those? those are shrimp we caught if they weren't cold from being on ice you'd probably only cook them about three or four minutes i think we'll probably give it about five y'all ready to eat some seafood i'm ready oh. i'm ready for the peel and eat did, shrimp what what did you that's do that's gonna be really good Oh, I thought you meant crab legs in the car. No. I did mean crab legs, so I picked Luke up from school and told him we were having crab for dinner and he thought we were eating crab legs. We are eating crab legs, silly. You can see right here, I've already cleaned the other ones. I'm gonna make up a butter and Old Bay sauce and pour it on the top and they are gonna be good. These aren't quite as big, but we didn't catch very many, so hey, we those kept- those are small ones. Yeah, we kept pretty much all that we caught. It's legal. Who cares? It's crab. Crab's crab, Luke. Jake. Crab's crab. Dear Lord, thank you for this nice lunch. And thank you for my home. Thank you for my family. And dear Lord, amen. Amen. Y'all check out these crabs. Shrimp, mango, and watermelon, and more crabs. Y'all gonna dig in or what? Oh. Now, I know I get a lot of critics out there saying that I take the guts out and that's not the way you do it. Well, the good thing about cooking is there's no rules. I don't want to eat the guts. I want to eat just the meat. Luke, you want to eat the guts? Man, that's not got bad. long antennas right you. here. Hey, focus. Do you like eating crab guts? Uh-uh. Mom? No. Dad probably would. Dad, do you eat the yellow stuff? No. The verdict's in, folks. Ain't no Arringtons like to eat crab guts. We like crab meat. I would eat it for a billion dollars. For a billion? Yep. Son, I'd eat the whole crab whole. I'd let him bite me on the ears while I was eating him. We forgot one thing. What's that? We need to put this on the table. Oh, the moral bay? So we do have, like we said, some medium to smaller crabs and then we got these absolute jumbos. Here, Mom, since Dad worked so hard his whole life, give him the big one. How you got, how they got Here, Jake. How do you break them open? Oh, yeah. Ow, wowzers, that one's hot. I'm Here the, you go. I'm a fan of Ow, no, here, Mom, take that one. That one's hot. Ow. Pass me down them smaller ones, I'll eat them. These shrimp, you guys, are so good. If you wanna watch us catch these, check out the last video we did. And be sure to check out Ian, Tug Trash on YouTube. I'll put it right here. The dude's awesome, I've known him my whole life. Done a bunch of cool things together. He's a hunter, he's a fisherman, and he loves shrimping and crabbing. Check him out. You guys see that little chunk of meat right there? It is amazing. Here, look, try it and tell me what you think. Look, you stuck your whole hand in the butter, son. Is that good? 
Mm -hmm. All right, we're done with the crabs and they were absolutely amazing. Even my dad said those were some of the best blue crabs he's ever ate in his life. And I will have to agree. Huge shout out to Tug Trash, but we're on to the homework. For those of y'all that have kids, this is what our life amounts to is homework. Jake's doing homeschool and Luke's doing regular school. Well, right now he's not doing school because he spilled the fish food. So he's sweeping up all the fish food that he spilled. I'm about to ask you a question that I'm sure a lot of parents wonder. How come you can't figure out how to run a broom in a dustpan, but you can figure out any video game you touch in like two seconds? Crickets, nothing but crickets. Parents, I know y'all deal with the same thing. Kids can't figure out how to do day-to-day -day chores, but they can figure out the most difficult video games on the planet. That's it though. If you want to see more crabbing and shrimping videos, go back in my library, search Blue Gabe Crabbing or Blue Gabe Shrimping and you will find so many. I've done them all over the place. I've done commercial shrimping and crabbing and I've done a ton of recreational. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says, time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.